Friends of Shannon Humphrey say it's unusual that he hasn't contacted anyone over the last three weeks. The sheriff's office categorized his disappearance as suspicious because it's out of his character. It's frustrating to go through every day and just keep wondering. Josh Kaufman has known Shannon Humphreys for 20 years. They share a passion for motocross racing. He's been a big part of my son's life for the last five years, training and taking him to the races for me when I can't go and wrenching on motorcycles. And we, I mean, we help six or seven other kids and uh, train them all to ride and ride better. What adds to the mystery is that Shannon didn't take anything with him. Friends and family say it's like he wasn't planning on being gone for more than a few minutes. Left behind was his car, wallet, cell phone, even his dog, Samson. He left with just the front door key to the house. He left his dog, which he never leaves his dog anywhere. He takes the dog everywhere. Over the last eight years, Shannon worked on and off at Moore and Sons Motorcycles. When he didn't show up for work, the shop owner became concerned. And then the, we've had a couple of detectives out here looking, but nobody seems to know anything. He just plain disappeared. The sheriff's office is investigating, but at this point, there are few clues to go on. We're operating off uh, very little information at this point. Um, you know, we have had family and friends, we've talked to them, so we're, we are reaching out to other people. The case has been assigned to our detectives and it's still ongoing. Meanwhile, friends are hopeful for the best. I just don't want to assume the worst. I'm, I'm, I'm an optimist, so I'm, I'm going to assume he's going to just show up one day. It's unknown what means of transportation Shannon may have used to leave the area. The car remains out front of where he was living in Coralitas. Aaron Dan. Thank you very much, Phil. Again, we want to give you another look at Shannon Humphreys, 54 years old, 6 feet tall, 200 pounds. If you have any information, you're going to have to call the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office.